I'm joined now by Mr. Ashraf Haidri, the Director General of Policy and Strategy at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Afghanistan. Mr. Haidri, if I can begin by asking you about your sense of the deliberations here in Amritsar, the Amritsar Declaration, and is the Afghan government satisfied with the talks here? Yes, first of all, I would like to extend our sincere appreciation to the Indian government and people for um, kindly and generously um, co-chairing and co-hosting uh, today's uh, conference and as well as the senior officials meeting which uh, happened uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, the deliberations today were quite productive at the end of which we unanimously adopted the uh, declaration which had been under discussion and negotiation uh, with the uh, members of the supporting uh, countries uh, and as well as uh, of course uh, the participating uh, countries. Uh, and if I were to ask you from Afghanistan's perspective, what would be some of the biggest takeaways or deliverables from this summit? Well, the um, main uh, takeaway is a reinforcement of uh, the uh, consensus that already exists, and that's that unless we uh, all cooperate, the countries of the heart of Asia, to stabilize Afghanistan, that the rest of the region uh, would uh, uh, suffer because uh, Afghanistan is a landlocked country relies on the peace and prosperity of our surrounding region, uh, especially our neighbors and vice versa and therefore it's important for uh, those countries and as well as you know beyond to uh, sincerely cooperate and to fight against uh, terrorism, which is the uh, main concern of the Afghan people and and government, which we have been uh, fighting uh, with the support of the international community. If we together address that problem, then we should be able to move on uh, to uh, collaborate and cooperate economically in order to ensure prosperity for uh, our region's youthful uh, populations. You mentioned terrorism and security. I was wondering what's the status or the outcome insofar as the regional counterterrorism framework is concerned, which Afghanistan has been pushing for for the last year or more. It was decided uh, at the Islamabad summit last year, and this year, if you can just throw some light on the status of uh, the draft agreement. Yes, um, uh, we uh, propose this uh, uh, regional counterterrorism strategy in the last uh, uh, ministerial conference in Islamabad and uh, followed up to uh, draft it, uh, which we did the framework and we shared it with uh, the participating and supporting uh, countries for uh, their input. And uh, we've heard so far back from uh, the Russian Federation and the Republic of Turkey, both of which we uh, thank today and we encouraged other uh, members of the uh, Heart of Asia uh, process to send back their uh, input so that we move on to uh, holding a technical uh, meeting of experts from the region to, uh, to uh, further review the draft uh, for uh, consideration and finally adoption by the countries of the heart of Asia so that it can eventually be operationalized uh, uh, in order to uh, for all of us to join ants and resources uh, to fight uh, terrorism and violent extremism and radicalism uh, in our region and beyond. Um, Mr. Hadri, what does this, uh, comp this counterterrorism framework actually entail? What does it say about the issue of terrorism and what are the expectations from the neighbors of Afghanistan to stem uh, terrorism? Well, the expectation is uh, very basic and it uh, builds on the four key principles of the United Nations uh, uh, global counterterrorism strategy, uh, which uh, uh, most of the countries of this region have subscribed to. Uh, and those include uh, uh, preventing terrorists from uh, taking shelter in, in our countries and to close down any operational bases and cut uh, uh, any sources of support uh, for them and as well as effectively um, uh, collaborating and coordinating to uh, prevent any uh, cross-border infiltration into uh, the countries of uh, and the region. And Afghanistan has been one of the uh, the prime victim of uh, cross Jordan line infiltration of uh, terrorists from uh, Pakistan into Afghanistan, as uh, President Ghani pointed out this morning, uh, which would like to uh, be uh, stemmed. Uh, 
uh, by uh, our neighbor and as well as in collaboration with the rest of uh, the region. Ultimately, we hope that uh, the countries of the region uh, work on an action plan to actually deliver on the basic expectations. Those expectations actually are built on the provisions of these countries' national counterterrorism strategies as well as the UN Global Counterterrorism uh, Strategy, which I uh, pointed out. So the goal is really for all of us to free our region from the you know, threats of terrorism and violent, and violent extremes, extremism so that we have the right and secure enabling environment for all of us to uh, work on economic uh, projects, so, uh, especially of uh, connectivity uh, to, uh, to uh, connect uh, North and South, meaning Central Asia and Southwest Asia, uh, so that we all uh, prosper together. And talking about India-Afghanistan bilateral relations, how would you characterize the bilateral relations as they exist today? And if you also throw some light on the status of cooperation insofar as uh, security and defense uh, ties go. Our bilateral ties uh, with India are based on civilizational uh, relations which the two countries and nations have always enjoyed for centuries and since time immemorial. Uh, and now, of course, uh, that is also the basis of our strategic partnership agreement uh, with uh, India, which is uh, secu security, political uh, governance and rule of law, development, social and economic, as well as cultural components. It's a multifaceted, multidimensional agreement which we signed with the, uh, with the government of India in uh, 2011, uh, on which uh, now we're working to uh, implement. And uh, talking about India-Afghanistan relations, uh, what would what uh, you know, besides defense and security we've seen trade and connectivity play an important role for Afghanistan and India in the bilateral and multilateral context so how would you uh, define or characterize the trilateral cooperation between India Afghanistan and Iran on the Chabaha port for instance also the overland rail and uh, road connectivity that links Afghanistan with India via Iran and what does it mean for the region as a whole well, uh, India has always helped us based uh, on the request that we have uh, set forth, and that's why India's assistance has been the most effective when we compare uh, Indian aid to Afghanistan with the aid from other countries. It has always been a response to our specific requests. Um, so definitely uh, trade and investment and commerce uh, are the highlights of our relationship, and that's why the government of India is leading the CBM, Confidence Building Measure on, on um, Investment, Trade, and, and, and Commerce, and has been very uh, actively engaged in Afghanistan, both building capacity and as well as uh, uh, working on, to implement major infrastructure projects such as the uh, Afghan-India Friendship Dam, which was recently inaugurated by our two leaders, and the building of the parliament, uh, and uh, uh, also the recent uh, signing of the trilateral trade and transit agreement uh, between Afghanistan, India, and, uh, and Iran uh, in order to uh, further connect Afghanistan and the whole region uh, so that more uh, trade and invest uh, flows across our uh, borders. Uh, uh, that's that's uh, where we are, and I uh, would like to uh, see uh, more, uh, more, more cooperation from the rest of the region with uh, India and Afghanistan to uh, see, see these uh, major infrastructure projects. Uh, also, um, TAPI is another major uh, infrastructure project uh, providing uh, energy for uh, Pakistan in India, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan in India. Uh, pipeline, uh, which we uh, hope will uh, be operationalized uh, through further investment and participation from the countries of the region and beyond, so that our countries are uh, connected uh, through via transportation, being the road, or railways, and as well as uh, fiber optic uh, uh, lines and as well as pipelines, so that uh, uh, so that we uh, we economically uh, grow and develop on a sustainable basis on the long run. Great. Thank you so much for speaking to me. So that was Ambassador Ashraf Hyderi speaking on India-Afghanistan relations and also in the multilateral context of the Heart of Asia Conference, which concluded in Amritsar. Ramesh Ramachandran, for Beyond.